Touton is a trading company. Uh, it was established a very long time ago, in 1848, initially with vanilla and spices, uh, but it's grown a lot, it's reinvented itself a lot, and nowadays it's uh, trading approximately 10% of the world's uh, production of cocoa. In the past, it was very much you know, the product that we were selling, but more and more it seems important not just to our clients, um, mostly chocolate manufacturers and cocoa-using industries, but also to the farmers themselves uh, that we offer services. And so that's kind of a shift in mindset. Uh, in the past, farmers were more considered as suppliers to our products, and now we see them more as clients. It was not sudden. It, it's not radical. Like, we did not wake up in the morning and said, oh, we're going to change the business model. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's a path, it's a journey. We started first with what I call the conformity stage, which is have a stakeholders, which is basically a, a chocolate maker, a brand that is asking me uh, to source sustainable cocoa, coffee or ingredients. So uh, in order to be able to sell product to them, then I need to be compliant with their expectation in terms of sustainability. So it started 15 years ago with that conformity compliance stage. We now have um, an important project which is in an area of Ghana which the authorities have identified as what they call a hotspot intervention area, so one where this is a pressing, uh, a pressing concern. Um, beyond our interaction with the local authorities, we also have a consortium of partners, uh, technical, civil society, etc., that help us bring this, uh, this program together, which includes activities at farm level, so cocoa farm level, at community level, so already beyond the scope of cocoa specifically, um, regional level, and national level. So one of the challenges is how do we create value for the ultimate beneficiaries of that project, which are the smallholder farmers operating in the landscape. Uh, the second challenge is that we uh, are facing is how do we engage other stakeholders? Because Touton on his own cannot do everything. And financially speaking, uh, no, in terms of knowledge, in terms of expertise, we need to bring other stakeholders so they can also contribute to the effort we're doing on the landscape. Touton are traders are risk takers, and I think there's been enough of a vision at top management level uh, to really push this forward, and that's essential to drive any type of change. Um, again, the situation on the ground has, has evolved. Um, landscape preoccupations are really there, uh, farmers feel them. There's also an environment, we're part of a wider environment, uh, there are political discussions, obviously climate change and addressing deforestation issues is hot on the agenda of, you know, the uh, global agenda. So it's, it's, it's not an easy transition in terms of the mechanics of getting that whole landscape program together, but it was a relatively easy one from a philosophical standpoint in terms of the company. The biggest part of the investment has been supported by Touton on equity. This is because we truly see a business case for that, a long-term business case, which is we, forest and cocoa, are interconnected together. With no forests, you'll be hardly uh, able to, uh, to, to grow cocoa. So we need to protect the forest. We need to build the resilience on the farmers. And what we have been able to, to, to secure is funding from Palladium and P4F agency, which has been a major uh, contributor to the project, not, not only in terms of resources and finance, but also in terms of expertise. We have also been able to uh, score some revenue from our customers because we have been able to segregate the supply chain with cocoa coming from that project uh, and, and delivering that pro cocoa to, the, to the, the, the final customers that is receiving cocoa which has a higher quality, a higher quality of services. Be ambitious in the way you want to set up your community of goodwill, but be pragmatic in engaging those people in your program.